Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something on the bench for you. So this is going to be, if you will, the first installment of a build video that I'm going to do on the, let me see if I can say this all in one breath, on the, on the super duper mega ultralight 138G 4S5 incher V2.2. Okay. So we have a build video coming. I'm going to do some different things with the frame from V2 to V2.2. Now keep in mind v1 and the prototype and all that stuff is nothing but frames it's it's gone so what i'm going to do in this video is kind of go over some of the differences not this is not a frame review i already have a frame review so stay tuned So we have we have a couple things that we like about this uh, frame okay there's quite a bit to like but there's some things that I really don't like this beeper I don't like it hanging off the back okay so that needs to be changed I don't like my uh, power line uh, going to you know you always want to strain relief that so it doesn't rip off the pads on your board and I don't like how it's strain relieved uh, the, the wires are, are kind of crushed against the carbon so I wanted to modify that. Um, this this motor in particular is, is kind of my favorite one to hit when I crash. Um, the last crash that I had was pretty gnarly and the propeller had ripped the motor wires uh, clean in half. Actually, I haven't fixed it yet. So I still need to fix these wires. But the motor wire protection was too low. So I want to modify that as well. And then the canopy, I'm having issues with this canopy. And uh, let me go through the canopy first, okay? Actually, what I should do is tell you that this, this frame is amazing uh, for what you get, okay? You get, you get a canopy to protect your uh, camera. And I'll go through some details on that, of the differences. Now, like I said, I have a full video on this frame. So this this frame, I'll try to remember to put something up here for you. So that's a detailed video of like thicknesses, measurements, all that. That's not what this video is about. This video is about the modifications that I'm doing. So when I go into the build chan you know, the build video, I don't have to explain all those things if somebody wants more detail. Um, but anyway, so you get a capacitor. That'll probably be my next video, how to prepare your VTX for this build. So we'll solder wires on the VTX. Well, we're gonna put that in the VTX. And they give you this in the frame kit. I mean, all everything I'm showing you here is what you get with this kit. You get a pigtail X, XT30, um, which I'm actually gonna do a video on how to prepare your pigtail with the capacitor on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a video of that. And then the standoffs, you get two, two sizes of standoffs. So if you have like a really low build, like mine's not, okay, I have, I have my receiver, I have my VTX, the board, uh, airspace in between. So there's there's no way that I could use these blue shorter standoffs. So I'm using these. And actually that brings me to another point. I bought some black ones. So I'm gonna use in the build video, I'm actually gonna use some 25 millimeter black ones. So that should be pretty cool. Um, and then you get all the hardware and they actually include, if you can see that, they actually include a stack screw not one, but all of, all you know, four of them. I mean, that's really cool in a frame kit to get stack screws, especially for this size. And you can see it's legitimate. I mean, it goes all the way through the stack. And then they give you, um, have you seen these? They're two, they're M2 locking nuts. They actually have a lo nylon locker inside them. So that's pretty cool. And then of course you have your top plate. So let's get, let's get to the issue at hand, okay? This canopy, because I'm using the longer standoffs, let me grab one real quick here. So the longer standoffs go into this canopy and the top of the canopy I'm using now, the, the top portion here was able to slide loosely, like the canopy slides up and down on that. So I have put in here like chunks of stuff to keep that nice and tight. So not a fan. 
The other thing is, if you notice, that there's a, a fair amount of space right here. So, like I said, if you've been following the channel, you know that I have a 3D printer now, and I'm, I've been going at it. I've got over 100 prints now of various things, and I've started to design my own pieces. So here's a prototype. It's a PLA. So this canopy will now go from, let me see if I can show you that. This canopy will now go from top plate to bottom plate. And I actually made the canopy one millimeter taller than it needs to be. So the standoffs are 25 millimeters. So this canopy is 26 millimeters tall. And I dropped this down a little bit. Let's see if I can focus this for you. So I have dropped this down just a little bit so that the lens can tilt down a little bit. The original has quite a bit of tilt. It's kind of tough to see here, but your camera's pointing up at a I'm, I run about 30 degrees but I would like to cruise this a little bit more you know get that 10 minute of flight time or something so I need to pull my camera from 30 down to like 20 so I'm able to do that with this modification and then I have two different holes I'm gonna test out so there's some of the things that I'm doing uh, differently so I'm not gonna be using this we're gonna go ahead and put this on the on the frame and then I have uh, extended motor wire protection. So I've made these little motor wire protectors. The original motor wire protectors, um, you can see that the length is significant. So I should be able to get a little bit more motor protection because I notice when it's cold, because I'm, I'm flying, I don't care if it's freezing, it's snowing out, uh, the propeller would, would break and then it would bend down and it would cut across the front here. So that's no good. So now I'm going to protect it basically anywhere this prop could strike it. I'm going to protect it. So I have longer uh, motor wire protection that I printed and this is this is a TPU. So it's good and sturdy should wrap the wires nicely. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then let's take a look here. What's going on back here? I'm I've really not been a big fan of all of what's going on right here. So I need to change that. Let me get some stuff out of the way and refocus for you. So in here, we have the motor wire protection. And obviously that motor wire protection isn't good enough because I ripped the wires off this motor, right? So I'm uh, going to modify that and make it longer. It's going to come down to about here. The other thing is I don't like my power wires cr uh, basically crushed against the frame. This is a good strain relief so that it doesn't rip the pads off your, off your board. You know, nothing like replacing a $75 all-in-one because you ripped the pad off because you had a battery ejection. So we want to make sure we strain relief that. Um, I'm not a real particular, you know, I'm just not a fan of the way I've had to do it here. So I'm going to change that. The uh, wire protection and then the beeper. I got the beeper kind of floating out here on the end of the frame with a wire tie. Let's see if I can show you that. So I don't like that. I want to change that because consider this is going to a 5 volt back. So if this gets ripped off and those wires touch, potentially you're going to destroy the 5 volt uh, regulator on your flight controller. And of course, that means you have to do a bunch of other modifications. So that's no fun. So I, I have I have made iter iteration after iteration. I come up with this one. So I got a whole pile of these garbage pieces. And then this is the one we're going to do. So let me get some stuff out of the way here. Get this frame in. So on the back leg here, you can see that I've, I've made a hinge. So it can hinge open and close onto the frame. And then you see these two little bump outs. That's for the main power wires. So now I could put a large uh, five millimeter uh, wire strap down through the, the TPU, okay? see that so then I can go ahead and wrap that around and and zip tie that nice and snug and the wires are going to be strain relief because of the TPU squishy but they're not going to be crushed so that should be a good thing uh, it holds on to the standoff here so if anything were to happen to rip this off I'm gonna tell you what this thing really flies fast you crash it's pretty violent so I'm trying to think ahead like how to uh, eliminate any any issues 
So I have the standoff going through here. I have zip tie uh, points to basically zip tie it to the frame. So this thing will be stitched to the frame. And I have, I ordered a bunch of these. These are really small wire ties. These are not your standard four inch wire ties you buy at a hardware store. Uh, I could only find these at Banggood. I bought a thousand of them because they're just impossible to find. Uh, these will, this is what I'm gonna use to stitch it to the board. And then in here I have two little spots uh, for, for the beeper. So now when I clip this onto the frame, I put my, uh, slide it, you know, slide it down on my standoff or, you know, just take the standoff off. And once it's clipped onto the frame, see here. So as you can see, I've got all of these pieces uh, taken care of, all the things that I didn't like, the negatives of, of the original design, if you will. So that'll be a nice strain relief for my power wire motor wires protected and beeper plate and then of course um, you know what let me let me go ahead and just for uh, just for giggles let me let me put these standoffs on and we'll put all these uh, parts on real quick let me all right so there it is <laughs> put some wire ties here and there uh, just to hold the pieces in place while I rotate this around so you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. So for the build video, I'll pull this out uh, basically the way it is now. And you can see those stack, the stack screws they give you with the frame. Pretty, pretty awesome. You're really not going to need to go any higher than that. And then the canopy, my modification canopy, you can see that it goes all the way up. And it's actually a little, it's a little taller than the standoff, so it, it gives it a little smush. And that helps, the rigidity of that is, is, I mean, look at that. And I haven't even put the camera in yet. So it's going to be, it's going to be nice, but it's, it still has enough flex that it's going to absorb some vibration. That's the hopes anyway. So there's the frame. Um, you have any questions about this, let me know. Uh, like I said, I didn't want to, I don't mind repeating myself a couple times, but when, when you got 30, 40 people asking questions, it's just easier to go to a video. <laughs> so I think the next video I'm going to do might be the V it's either going to be the VTX, uh, preparations, or it may be the, um, how I do a beeper or maybe how I do the power line. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to I'm going to do separate videos for those. So hey, hopefully this was uh interesting for you. Hopefully you got something out of it. And if you did, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you hated it. <laughs> Man, you give me a thumbs down it all works. Enjoy the breeze.